Hi guys, it's Mino. Welcome back. Um, it is the morning after my red spirally comb wrecked crazy thing and I haven't been able to sleep very much because I keep thinking about doing it again. So we're going to do it again right now. This is the 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas from Michaels from Artist Loft. Okay, so colors. Very simple. Golden's turquoise, phthalo. Leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. This one is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. I mixed it pretty thick. I want it to stay, keep its shape. I don't want it to blend into everything. Last one is uh, Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. And to that, I have added a lot of the 24 karat gold. Sort of thinking about Malibu, that Art Minds one that's discontinued. But then it also seemed a little bright to me, so I put a little bit of the Deco Art Americana satin enamels in pure white in there too to lighten it up and that's like this really pretty pistachio sort of color i'm hoping it's sparkly because there's a lot of gold in there so i love the contrast between those two that's awesome with the black that's um artist love flow acrylic in black last time i mixed my flow extender with just flow troll and i'm not going to do that again because when i put it in there to dry and I'm watching it, you know, you scrape the lip and you're making sure that it's, you know, drying and setting up. But because it was only Floetrol, it just kept falling down and spreading out and spreading out. <laughs> it was driving me nuts. So I am going to put pouring medium in my flow extender because I want it to set up and I want it to dry when I have it in there to dry. I don't want it to keep spreading, which drives me insane. Okay. Not that I'm not already insane. But, okay. So we're not putting gold in the center. I'm going to start off with some black. Ooh, that one looks sparkly. I bet you that's the drips from the other night. Okay, that's the drips from last night. So that'll be the flow extender. Here's our Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. Okay, nice thick layer. Okay, we're gonna go right into the turquoise. Thicker layer of that one. And then a lighter layer, smaller layer of the bright aqua green. This takes over. <laughs> small layers of the bright aqua green. Okay, small layer of gold. And we're going to go back to the black. Nice thick layer. So the other thing is I only want to put like 15 or 16 ounces of paint on that canvas. And then I want to put a lot more flow extender than I normally do. Okay, we're going to do it again. Thick layer of turquoise, smaller layer of the bright aqua green-ish color, <laughs> and some 24 karat gold. Okay, so this time I'm going to put another layer of turquoise on this end too. Okay, so I'm back to the black. Nice thick, thick layer of black. Okay. All right. So that's it. Woo! Excited. <laughs> I want this to work. Okay. So. Well, it's the flow extender, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, we're getting sun. I'm gonna put a puddle of this. Ready? There we go. I'm gonna do a ring pour.
this out just a little bit. Maybe an ounce of paint or an ounce of water. And you want to stir it. I know it looks like I stir things forever, but I do stir things forever because you want to make sure your water is incorporated. You don't want to have thick paint with like streaks of water going through it. That's not good. Here we go. Who wants to go that way? <laughs> no matter how many times we level the table, it's amazing. Here we go. Good. All that paint out. Spread this out real quick. Okay. So we're gonna wreck it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So last time I kind of did this, I'm going to use the thicker end. I kind of did a curve and then I kind of went up and then brought one end of it up so it ended on just one point. And the part on the red one that I don't like is where I didn't do that. I wasn't careful and instead of coming to one point, I kept going straight and I didn't like it. So we're going to curve and then come up to make it sort of like petals. And I think I'm not going to do the whole thing. I think I'm going to do like two and then leave some space and then two and leave some space. So actually, I think I want to leave that black space. <laughs> I'm gonna go through here. Gonna curve and then come to a point. My paper towel, and I'm not gonna dip my paper towel in it this time either, which I also did last time. <laughs> okay. Curve and come to a point. Okay, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. <laughs> Last one. Okay. Now, last time I poured a little bit into the center and I'm gonna do that again. So, literally just taking what was in my cup, I'm gonna put in a dot of turquoise, just a tiny bit of gold, and that's it. That's probably half an ounce of paint right there. Okay, and I'm gonna go right into the center to cover, cover up that I've also learned, don't turn the torch on right on top of the painting. I don't know if you saw one of the last videos. I turned it on and like, all this dust flew out of it. So turn it on away, see? Then turn it on. All right, let's do it. Ready? 
Now I'm okay with leaving some black negative space on here. When I was watching the video for the red one, I tilted off the two corners and it looked really cool. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I could have just left it like that. So we're gonna go that way. I don't wanna go off the edge yet. I'm gonna take it down to the other side and stretch out that end. Come back to the middle. Now we're going to go down off of this corner. Go back down towards the middle again. Okay, see how it went off the corners there? So because it did that, I am going to take this off the edge. Because otherwise it would have stuck in those two areas. Where do you want me here? Okay. All right, I kind of like this with the negative space on there. But we do need to take a little bit of this paint off. So let's maybe try to get the end of the where the turquoise starts to about here and get that covered up. And then we'll come back and see how it goes. Okay, so where's the weight of the paint? The weight of the paint is. Right there in the center. We're just going to walk it down. And let that black go over the corner. Back to the middle. Just going to take that bottom edge down a little bit. No, get out of here, sir, please. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I like it. I'm not crazy about the very, very defined edge on that center that we poured. I mean, it's kind of cool. I'm going to go look at it from over there on the other side. I just want to incorporate some of these lines. So 
so it's not so sharp. Okay, that's better. Just broke it up a little bit. All right. Um, I think that's it. You think I should keep going or stop? I like it like that. Okay. I really like your left, your left edge there. Here? Yeah. Yeah. This part's really cool. Yeah. I should want to take this back a little bit. To open that up some more. Let's torch it one more time. And I think we're done. So this is what I was, when I was saying that the Floetrol made me mad yesterday when I mixed the base coat with it. Okay, so usually when I scrape this edge like that, I take it and I put it inside. And then like half an hour later, I check again and maybe I need to scrape it one more time. And there's like a couple of drips and that's it. Then it stops dripping. Yesterday, it dripped like eight times. It was driving me crazy. So pouring medium in my flow extender. I'm good with that. Okay. That's cool. Thanks for hanging out with me for this one. <laughs> Indulging my, I have to do it again. But uh, this is really cool. So definitely want to play with this some more. I'll show you when it's dry. Okay. So this is a few days later. And it's completely dry now. This one is dream catcher. I love how this turned out. It's so cool. This top section is definitely, definitely my favorite. Beautiful depth. Sorry, we're losing the sunlight. <laughs> Beautiful lines in here. So there was no white in this. This one was that bright aqua green that I had mixed. I did put a tiny bit of white in it, but it was still green. <laughs> really pretty lines though. So this was the another uh, comb wrecked ring pour like Allegra but I left a lot more space in between and I didn't do the whole thing very cool cool stuff pretty center and that's black with the turquoise and the bright aqua green and it got like this blue from the turquoise and the green and the black mixing together very cool Cool stuff. So this one is dream catcher because it totally looks like that to me. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you for the next one. Have a great day.